Kentucky has become ground zero for the abortion debate. Its sole remaining abortion clinic is under threat, and the state could become the first in the nation without an abortion provider. Hundreds of protesters from a national anti-abortion group are gathering there this week. They are making the state and that clinic their target. Anna Werner's in Louisville, where she's been talking to the clinic's director and those who want to shut it down. Anna, good morning. Good morning, Gail. And what you're looking at here, this black and yellow tape on the sidewalk, this is a buffer zone. It was put into place by a federal judge late last week because back in May, protesters actually blocked patients' access into this abortion clinic. Now what the protesters have been doing is lining up right along the edge, talking to patients as they go in. Their goal is to shut this clinic down. Abortion opponents started gathering at churches in Louisville over the weekend, gearing up for citywide protests. Evangelical activists Jason Storms and wife Sarah brought their eight children with them from Milwaukee, along with a firm belief. We have the wholesale, legalized, protected, tax-subsidized killing of little human beings in the womb is to me just is deplorable. The group he belongs to, Operation Save America, calls Roe versus Wade a covenant with death and wants to close down the clinic, the last remaining abortion provider in the state. This is exactly why this matters. Kentucky's abortion landscape is changing. Republican Governor Matt Bevin publicly opposes abortion and the GOP-controlled legislature has passed new restrictions on abortion. In May, nearly a dozen protesters were arrested for blocking patients' access to the clinic. Storm says they plan to be peaceful this time. Well, there's certainly not going to be any violence on anybody on our side. One of their activists told me that they don't espouse violence. Do you believe that? No. Anna Hola has been the clinic's director for 17 years. How do you feel about being a target? It's offensive because these people outside believe that they have monopoly over God. And they don't understand that he is in here, too. God is everywhere. You know, those people outside aren't the only Christians in the world. So the U.S. Marshals are here to help keep the peace today. Also, later today, a federal judge is going to decide whether to issue an injunction to keep this buffer zone in place for a longer period of time. But protesters don't just plan to be here. They plan to go to the clinic doctor's homes as well. Jeff. Anna Werner, thank you very much.